So it has been brought to my attention that with the announcement of the filming of my book to movie adaptation, wait with me, some of you don't know the backstory, and so I think it's time for a little story time. About four years ago, I just quit my day job. I was a full-time author for the first time. I was sitting at home every day, ready to write the next great American novel. When suddenly I was struck with a horrible case of writer's block. I tried various rooms in my house. I tried coffee shops. Nothing was inspiring me. I was stuck. And then I went to a little place called Tires, Tires, Tires. I needed new tires. I brought my computer and they had an awesome waiting area with complimentary coffee and cookies and all this great stuff. And so I cracked my laptop open and thought maybe I could get some words in while I'm waiting for my car to be serviced. Little did I know, it was the most magical place on earth. The words flowed better than the complimentary coffee. Like I'm telling you, I could write like nobody's business there. So what did I do? I went back. I brought both my sister's cars in. I brought in my um, old co-workers cars. I was like posting face on Facebook in the neighborhood to see if anybody needed a service. No one did. So I did what any natural self-respecting millennial who's desperate to work would do. I snuck in. I snuck in and I wrote in that waiting room and I totally flew under the radar until one of my friends decided to pull a prank on me and send me a fake invoice for excess consumption of complimentary beverages. The whole thing blew up on social media and went viral. The manager, Gary, reached out to me on social media and said, hey, I've heard something about a fake invoice. That is not from us. You are welcome to come here anytime. And that was the start of my real love story with Tires, Tires, Tires. They let me come in and write whenever I wanted. So naturally, I decided I should write a book about a romance author who sneaks into a tire shop waiting room to write and gets busted by a hot mechanic even though I never got busted by a hot mechanic. Tires, Tires, Tires was totally on board. We shot the cover there. We did a book signing there. Um, Gary, the manager, signed books. Like, it was it was so much fun. That book blew up after I released it, and eventually it got a film option from Passion Flicks. And now, finally, almost four years later, uh, the filming for that movie adaptation is happening. I just got back from Tires, Tires, Tires and told Gary, the manager, all the exciting news. He is so pumped. He's like a proud dad. Uh, it just goes to show you never know where inspiration might strike.